Republican candidate John James is now going for his second attempt at the U.S. Senate. If you remember back in 2018, he went up against Democratic incumbent Debbie Stabenow in a rather tight race that he lost. However, this year he's going up against Senator Gary Peters in a race that political experts say could be even tighter. In Michigan, the race toward the U.S. Senate is heating up between Democratic incumbent Gary Peters and Republican nominee John James. However, Peters, who is eyeing a second term, faces a tough challenge from James, a business executive and combat veteran who is looking to become the second Michigan Republican to serve in the Senate in more than 40 years. Who do you trust most with your First Amendment rights? Who do you trust most with your right to peaceably assemble? Who do you trust most with your freedom of speech? James' campaign platform consists of several Republican values, including pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, and pro-business. And he also supports the lowering of taxes and less government regulation. When you have folks in the Democrat Party promising they're going to raise your taxes, and Gary Peters, who's already raised taxes 106 times in the past 10 years. And James is also reminding supporters that Michigan is a critical swing state for control of the Senate and for the White House. This is a great country that needs a little bit more work. And we have the opportunity to take ownership of our country. Now, we'll be heading to Lansing later tonight, where the Michigan GOP is having a watch party for the election. And we'll continue to bring you updates and reaction from there as well. For now, the reporting live in Flint, Jonathan Jackson, WNN TV 5.